class. Welcome to the Arima class. Today, I will, simplify, uh, I will be finding the value of x. So from here, we have that 2 raised to the power x plus 2 raised to the power 3 x equals to 10. So the first thing we are going to do is that let y to be equals to 2 raised to the power x. So if our uh, y is raised to the power 2, if y equals 2 raised to the power x, so we can say that y raised to the power 3 is the same thing as 2 raised to the power 3x. Okay? So because from here, we should know that this is more than like saying 2 raised to the power x and 3 is outside. So since there is y, so we have y raised to the power 3. So from here, so our given um, question is now going to be y plus y raised to the power 3 equals 10. So from here, we can form an equation, which is y raised to the power 3 plus y minus 10 equals 0. And um, let my plus y be equals to minus 4y plus 5y. Okay? So, which is the same thing as plus 1y, right? So, we can use another value, but for the purpose of this, I'm using these two. So, here, I have y raised to power 3 minus 4y plus 5y minus 10 equals 0. Now, let's um, factorize out. So, from here, I'm going to have, let me factor out y. So, I'm going to have y squared minus 4. And from here, let me factor out 5. So, here I'm going to have y minus 2 equals 0. So, um, the next line after this, looking at y squared minus 4, we can see that we can use the difference of two squared approach to this, which means that um, here we can have um, y squared minus 4, which is y squared minus 2 raised to power 2, right? So here we have um, y plus 2, y minus 2. So plus 5, y minus 2 equals 0. Now, factor, factoring out y minus 2 from both sides here, I'm going to have y minus 2, which has been factored out. So, I'm going to have y multiplied by this and this. So, we are going to distribute y to this um, value here. So, here I'm going to have y raised to power 2 plus 2y. And also plus 5, which is this, okay, since this has been factored out, so equals 0. So from here, we can have that my y minus 2 equals to 0. That is the case 1, right? That is our case 1. So let me call that case 1. So if my y minus 2 equals 0, let me solve the case 1. We have that y equals 2. And recall that from here, our y equals 2 raised to power x. That is, 2 raised to power 1, which is the same value as y, equals 2 raised to power x. So therefore, with my case 1, my x equals 1. That's for case 1. So also for case 2. For case 2, uh, we have that our y squared plus 2y plus 5 equals 0. That is my case too. So here we want to check if we have real roots here. And um, the easiest way for us to check if there is real roots is that um, 
we have our delta to be b squared minus 4ac. Don't forget, my a from here is 1, which is the coefficient of y squared. My b is 2 and my c is 5. So my b squared, which is going to be 2 squared minus 4 times a times c, which is 5. So I'm going to have 4 minus 20, which is what? Negative 16. So from this negative 16, which is less than 0, so we don't have any real roots from this. And since we don't have real roots, so we can conclude. Conclusively, we have that our x equals to 1 would be the only value for x from this. Thank you very much for watching my video. I will really appreciate if you have some suggestion in the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe.